Hi, it's Fishing Sister. We're down on Karakalinga Beach. Absolutely stunning morning. It's a summer's day. Really about 20 degrees at the moment, probably at the most, and very gentle breeze. This beach has got a really good trough right in front of us with the tide dropping, so we're hoping that we might catch maybe a gar or some, maybe some Tommies even. We'll see how we go. It's just beautiful down here. So I've got a float, ball float, burly spring, and I've got long shanked hooks with some gents on. Let's see how we go. The difficulty with float fishing is that you can't really cast it out very far because it's so light. It's very hard to get that out. <laughs> Something on. Oh, it's a guy. Martin's on again, looks like another gar. Nice one, that's a good size one too. That's a big one. So it's 31, Martin. Pretty good size. Right, swivel's on. I've switched to a barrel float because they're heavier than a ball float, so you can cast them out further. You can't see so easily though if you've caught a fish, because a barrel float doesn't bob under the water like a ball float does when you've got a fish biting. You can also use a pencil float by itself without a dirty spring, but it's too light to cast in off the beach. Watch for a change of movement in your barrel float. If it suddenly starts moving around, going in a different direction, or spinning in a circle, you know you've hooked a fish. Yeah. Oh, are you on again? Oh, it's another car. Oh, wow. There's a big wave, and as, as my float went through it, there was a big gar beside it, but yeah. it didn't go on. But it was, you could see it in the wave. It's so great.
had a brilliant morning on Karakalinga Beach. Martin caught seven garfish, which we had for dinner and they were delicious. But I really wanted to catch some myself. I hadn't caught any that day. So I came back a few days later when Martin was at work and I did catch a couple of garfish. Yes. That was a gar. Oh, I did it. Yes, it's still on. Oh, there's one, there's one. Come on, that looks like a good one. So Karakalinga is a really beautiful spot. This is fishing sister saying goodbye.